Welcome to another class on sword. Now, before we proceed, we'll be looking at the laws of sword. Now, what are the laws of sword? The first thing you need to know is that sword, sword is the square root of, let me say, rational numbers. Or any numbers that cannot give us an O number. Or let me, I can even say in short. The square root of an integer number now but we use the rational number instead and we say example root 3 can have root 7 can have root 8 etc now we have the laws that guide sword when you have number one if you have root x divided by root y root x divided by root y will give you root x over root y which we can intend to have it to be root of x over y. Then at the same time, when you have number two, when you have root x multiplied by root y, this can become root x y. Let me give you an example for this two. Example for this first one, if you have root, let me say root six divided by root three. Root 6 divided by root 3 can become root of 6 over 3. So in which the answer will be root 2. Because 6 divided by 3. You now 6 divided by 3 will give us what? Will give us 2. Will give us 2. So that's why we have it to be root 2. Now for this one, for this second one, we have root 3. The multiply by root 2. This can become root 3 multiplied by 2, in which you have the final answer to be root 6. Because 3 times 2 will give us 6. Law 3. Law 3, if you have root of, let me use this, root x minus root y. Multiply by root x plus root y. Now, if you check this, you observe that they have the same, the number that is here is the same number that is here. The number that is here is the same number that is here. But the only difference is the what? The sign. So your answer will be the first number that is under the square root, the minus the second number, which is y. And that is y. Let me give you an example. If you have root 2 minus root 3 into bracket root 2. Plus root 3. If you use the normal expansion method to open this, you are still going to arrive to the same answer. So, but if I should use this shortcut that I have here, the answer will now be the first number here, which is 2, the minus the second value, which is what? Which is 3. So the answer is equal to minus 1. And if we press on the calculator as well, we are going to have the same answer into bracket root of 2 minus root of 3 plus bracket then root of 2 plus root of 3 now can you see the answer is minus 1 now the same principle if you have root 5 plus root 3 uh, root let's say 2 then to bracket root 5 minus root 2 now see this one your answer will be the first number, which is 5, minus second number, which is 2. The answer is 3. If you on the calculator or you expand, you are still going to have the same answer. The reason why is because, if you observe this law, it's because the same number that is here is the same number that is here. Same number that is here is the same number that is here. The only difference is what? The sign. Please take note. Now, law 4. If you have root of x all square, this one, the square root here, we cancel the square here. So the answer is equal to what? Is equal to x. Is equal to x. So because, example, if you have root, root 5 all square, root 5 all square will give us 5. If you have root of 7 all square, that becomes what? 7. If you press it on the calculator, it's going to give you what? The answer like that. Now, these are the aspects 
of the word of the sword. And this is the law of the sword. Now take note. With this formula, we can be able to solve some aspect of the set sort questions. Now, for instance, question number one. Question number one says, let's solve question on rationalization. Rationalize. Now, this aspect, I'll be looking at the calculator method. Yes, I'll be looking at the calculator method. Rationalize. 3 root 2 minus 5 root 3 all over root 2 minus root 3. Now, in case you are dealing with CBT question, you have an option A, 5 plus 2 root 6. Option B, 8 plus 2 root 6. Option C, 9 plus 2 root 6. Option D, 4 minus root 7. Now, if you want to use calculator to solve this, if the question is rationalized like this, you don't need anything. All you need to do is just to press the question that is here. Just press it the way you are given. And we are going to get the final answer. In which we have the fracture button. And the numerator is 2. Then root 2. We have this. Minus. We have 5. Root of 3. Then come to your denominator. We have root 2. Press the forward. Minus root 3. Now can you see? The answer is what? Is 9 plus 2 root 6. Which is option what? Option C. So, but they ask us to rationalize. I don't care about the word. So, but if you are using the add method to solve, you have to multiply numerator and denominator with the words with the conjugate of your denominator. But with the calculator, I don't need to pass through all this process before I get the question. Now, question number two. Question number two says, if x is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2, if x is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2, Find into brackets root x minus 1 over root x or square. Option A, you have 2. Option B, you have 4. Option C, you have 2 root 2. Option D, you have root 3. Now, see this question. If I want to solve this, they said find x, find if x is equal to this, find this value. Now, we now see, okay, I'll save my x as this value. Oh yeah, let's press the value. I have, I have 3 plus 2 root 2. 3 plus 2 root 2. Then I will now save it as x, which is shift RCL and the button of x. After I save it as x, then I will press AC. Open the bracket. Then let's go to the question. That's root of alpha x. Don't forget, I've already saved the words, the x. 1 all over root of alpha x. Then come to this space, close the bracket and press square. I've already pressed the question. But don't forget that I've already saved this as well as x. Then press equals to the answer is 4. So you have the answer to be 4. Now this is the way to solve the search questions. Now number 3. Number 3, the question says, you have root 12 minus root of 147 plus y root 3 is equal to 0. The question now says, find y, option A, 4, option B, 7, option C, 8, option D, 5. Now, you are asked to find y if this is equal to this. Now, that's why I say the calculator method is the best. Now, if you want to solve this, let's go. You have to press your question, that is your root 12. We have root 12. Press forward direction, minus Root of, we have 147, press the forward direction, we have plus, then how do you press your y? Your y is alpha and this place. Then root of, root of 3, then, you know, this is the question. The question now says that, okay, when we substitute the value, you know, we are asked to find y. Now, that shows that when we substitute the value of y here, everything must be zero. So, we'll now look for the options that will give us zero. So, the, the options that give us zero here, when we substitute y, is our final answer. 
So let us go and substitute y. Now press calculate, not shift calculate. Now can you see when you when you press calculate, it asks for the value of y. We'll not be testing the option one after the other. The one that gives us zero is the final answer. Option A, four. Press equals three. Can you see that? Four gave us minus root three. It's not the answer. Press calculate again. Option B, seven. Press equals three. Option B gave us two root three. It's not the answer. Press calculate. Press eight and press equals three. They, this one gave us three root three. It's not the answer. Press calculate. The last option, five and press equals three. Can you see that five gave us zero? And that is the answer. So that is a way to solve this type of question. Question number four. Question number four says, rationalize three root two plus root three all over two root five minus two. Option A, one over 18, five root 10, Plus two root five plus root six. Option B you have one over eighteen, five root ten, plus two root five, plus root six. Option C you have one over eighteen, six root ten, plus two root five, plus root six. Option D you have sorry, you have option B that's six, five. Sorry, you have, let me change the options. One over 18, five root stars. Let me, let me put this to be minus, so it will be different from this. One over 18, six root 10, plus two root 15, plus root six, plus six. Now, this, I want to solve it before, but let me give it to you as the exercise. Now, let me know the answer to this question at the comment section. So, please rationalize this. So, all you need to just do is to press the question. So, press the question, which means you have your press your question to be 3 root 2, then plus root 3, then come to your denominator, 2 root 5, then now have what? Minus 2. Then press equals 2. This is the answer. The question gave us 2.4168134789. Now that shows the correct answer to this, you have to press the quest, uh, the options one after the other. The correct answer must give you the same value here. So let us know which option has the same value with the question. Let me know at the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. I mean, inshallah, David Blessing, popularly known as General David. God bless you. Thank you very much for this lecture.